morning. Oh, and welcome to the daily blog. Big Bertha was one of the last trailers in last night. Um, so we'll get that unloaded a little bit later and back to the field to get some more. I think we've got two loads still on the ground. The rain's coming today. Will we get some more bailed? I don't know. Stay tuned though, you'll find out. Right, the doors are being opened up. We better uh, start storing up some cattle. We are loading still with the nine meter. The straw bed's going down. Everything's about a straw a minute. If we're not blowing it out, we're carting it, we're stacking it, we're bailing it. <laughs> We need to start combining some more as well. But this rain's gonna, you know, that's gonna knock that job off. Um, but yeah, it's all about the straw. Nice little cycle going around. So we bed, we bed the cows down. That creates the muck mixed with their feces. And then that goes onto the field to grow the next crop to then provide us with some straw and the feed for the cows. It's just, carbon cycle going round and round and round and people, I don't know, people forget that. It's not like an aeroplane just burning something that's been um, in the ground for millions of years. This is like one year, back round, and we're, the cycle's complete. It's just going round and round all the time. Um, but yeah, farmers get, farmers get a lot of uh, bad press about polluting everything. Well, we need farmers, don't we? we? You know, you need to eat every day. Do you need to get on that flight? I like getting on that flight. I like driving my car to places that I don't really need to go. But they're not absolutely essential. I can't, I can't miss um, eating, can I? Not for long, anyway. Right, we now jumped in the nine meter. And we're gonna put some straw into this shed. It's not going to be easy, this is the first time we've ever filled this shed and working out sort of where I put bales and different things is a bit, you know, it's sort of still got to follow the same rules but you're always thinking, am I doing this right or wrong? Navigating around these posts is not fun. It's not. I'm having to work, uh, I sort of try and straighten the bales up and it's never good because you never get a really good stack when you're doing things like pushing them at the bottom like that. Well, I've double stacked in threes now and I need to get some on top but with this grab I can't um, so I'm going to have to get some other spikes. I think I'll grab all the bales off down here, stack them there and then get some other spikes so we can just put the top bales in. I've just had my coffee. Uh, I'm jumping on 6.9. We're going to uh, drop the mixer off. Cause we're off combining, yeah boy. Gonna check the tire pressures on here cause one of these front ones looked a bit low and I know one of these back ones has got a bit of a slow puncture. I don't wanna be finding that out when it's full of barley in a minute. Well, there's 25 in there, that's plenty. This side had 18 in it, so need to balance it up. Right, now they're pumped up. We'll get out of here, get down to the field. Um, people often ask me, why do I tip the trailer up like that? Well, you can uh, you can see a bit better when you reverse it. See, there is a trailer that's just come into view that I wouldn't have seen if I didn't have it tipped up like that. There we go. Just gives you a little bit more time. Tom's beat me to it. He's here. Believe it is a big piece. So we'll get this pulled up the top of the field, I think. Park it up and we'll jump on with Tom. And uh, see how things are going in the combine. Get a view from the cab. And um, jump on in a second. 
get a view from the cab. We're just in the cab. Um, we've actually got to a place where it's not quite as laid. So I thought I'd do a video here because it makes it look better, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> um, it got a bit too much nitrogen in this field. But uh, yeah, Tom's concentrating now because we're going down the edge there. And uh, there's a bit of a bank, so maximum concentration. So that's just feeding the crop in, the real, the orange part. And then it's got some augers to then bring all the uh, crop into the middle, into the feed house, and it comes up here. Just filling, uh, filling the trailer now. There's a camera on it. You know, that's good. So we don't think it's gonna go in the trailer, which I suppose is a good thing. I, we want more corn. Um, so I'm gonna get the pipes dropped off and we'll go and fetch him another one. Then we can get on our way. That's it, leave that there. Toodle on home. Got back to the yard, Ben's just got back with Big Bertha. He's dropped her off. And he's gonna go back to the combine now while I stack a few bales um, in at one high. I think we're gonna to have to use a pallet tine because we haven't got a small set of tines that actually fit now. Uh, which is a bit of a pain. But hopefully these will work. Well, I've managed to get one up there and it wasn't too much hassle. Well, I've got them all in. Now I need to swap to the um, other tines. This is gonna be a bit of a pain, this, but anyway, I need to swap to the other tines to um, put the rest in. And Young's been out getting um, grain shoots. And uh, we're gonna be cutting wheat if it doesn't rain and to be fair that's a big if because everything says it's going to chuck it down very soon so if that you know if we do get started we're gonna to have to move a lot of barley to get the wheat in it's in a time then we'll get big bertha unloaded feel like this uh, rain is coming in so it will stop us from getting started in the wheat i think unless we get like one trail load out or something yeah, anyway, see what the future brings. Ben's tipping off the loads of barley. And I think we're knocking the combine in on the head. Um, we're done for today. So I'm just managing to get bales up into place like this. I've not gone through the roof yet. Let's hope this isn't the, uh, the time it does. Uh, try and get you a good view. Probably not possible. Um, so yeah, when I get up there, I'm very, very close to one of the beams, but we need to get close because we need to get as much straw as we can inside this shed. So if I go much further forward, then I'm into the beam. If I tilt my... Oh, this is so close. Right, I'm going to have to cut. Yeah, I'm having to um, get him to that point, which is a bit precarious. And then we will uh, push on the bottom of these bales. I'm not quite on the bottom yet. That's the bottom there. And then push them into place. He says, as though it's easy. It's really not. Come on, slide just started sliding that's good it's good 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 it's not how you really want to be stacking bales you want to be placing stuff down you don't want to be trying to push against the stack um, too much especially if you're trying to make things slide like this it, it's not it's not good practice but um, it's getting them in so fetching straw I think Noah's, yeah, he's there, look, come in. He's putting hay out. Just waiting for him to get out of the way. And it is going in in this shed down here. It just, uh, yeah, I think I'm past the point of uh, being uh, being worried about hitting the roof. I'm sort of getting there. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've done something really stupid or really good. So I've just, I get lots of requests for advertising on the channel. And I do do some of them that I think fit. But I've just turned down one that 
was very potentially lucrative because I just didn't think it worked and I don't know if I've been really really stupid or really um, yeah, I don't know if I've just been really stupid anyway <laughs> oh why you know like this never used to happen I just just be like yeah that's nice send me that that's fantastic and um, and now it's gone to a point where I have to think about what I'm putting because I don't want it to be full of adverts um, I don't mind doing the odd few because I like to try and monetize some of the time that um, I spend making the videos and stuff but, but when they don't fit they don't fit and that's what I'm going to tell myself and that's the reason I've not done it right onwards and upwards onto the next one forget about it Joe a few more bales to fit in to the big straw shed so that's why we fetch this load around here we'll just get that filled in and then everything else can go in the other shed for now Um both of those are full low we start out here and we go right up near enough to the road or try and keep it away from the road as much as possible but it ends up getting that way um so yeah we'll be starting the outside stacks and they are high they are nine uh 36 foot high yeah nine of these bales so um that's uh interesting when they start going on you'll see that a bit later maybe a week or so if weather stays good which don't look like it is right now so that's it the shed is full sometimes i think did we ought to have had that steel section there does that serve any purpose does that stop the like roof blowing out or whatever because i can't actually fill the shed up right to the front because that gets in the way so i don't know maybe it looks better like that I'm not quite sure anyway i'm gonna shift this out away and then um i can come back for the telehandler these guys have been to the farm where are you going now um what's it called smith's smith's what's that is that a... like a place where you get lots of there's hundreds and has, hundreds has daddy given you 100 pounds to spend 100 of toys it's a toy store yeah yeah and it's called smith's Oh. Smith. And we call this our toy. You touching daddy's belly? Yeah, you do. And even your tail. It's a big belly. It's not a big belly. Big, 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 who belly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat. How dare you? You're not that fat. You're very, very, very fat. Oh, Esme, how many more teeth have you lost recently? You've lost seven. How many did you? You've lost two though in two days again, haven't you? He's got. Uh, You're going to be spending all your tooth fairy money, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, bye bye. Bye, bye. 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 I'll fill Becky's car up. We had blue now. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop. We have got a little bit of rain. Outside cow there, getting followed a little bit, so we've brought it out with them. Uh, I've just been on the phone with Michael from GCS Machinery, so he's got a YouTube channel, and we've done, you know, he's helped us out before with the fuel bows and stuff like that. Um, and he's so so close, he says, to 10,000 subscribers, he's 40 subscribers off. So go and check him out. Um, he's got some quite interesting videos on farm sales. Uh, well, so he's done one oh, recently, so he has a hire fleet and there's somebody who hadn't paid the bill and they had to go and reclaim the um, the machinery that was, was there. So, um, yeah, check that out because it's quite interesting learning about how other people's businesses work. So, um, check him out and get him over 10,000 subscribers. Anyway, um, we better think of something to do, really. It started raining here. Maybe get the mill on, I don't know, something like that. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll find somewhere anyway, there's plenty of jobs to catch up on. Right, so I've been trying for a bit of time to get these off. And I, this is the only spanner I've got, this is a big adjustable. And I've had to use that length of old PTO shaft on the end of it to give me a bit more leverage. But we finally cracked it so I can actually start getting these took off and put the new ones that I got from Cramp on. And hopefully then we won't have a leaky tractor, fingers crossed. The problem with the spools on this tractor Partly it might be to do with one of, the, one of these and part of it's to do with actually the spool itself. So what I've done is I've bought four 
of them to just rule out that problem, which is not cheap, it's not cheap. I think <clears throat> one from John Deere is about 90 quid, one from Cramp was a hell of a lot less than that. You'd have to look on the website to find out exactly how much, but it was a hell of a lot less. Like, I'm sure I could get two for the price of one. Um, and I thought, you know what? Rather than call somebody out, I'll change all them four, and then if it still leaks, it's a bad, it's a bad deal, we'll call somebody out. But at least I've ruled out that part of it being wrong, which is usually the part that is wrong, like a little seal in there will go. And to be fair, you could probably change a little seal in there, but I'm not sure on the size, bits and bobs like that. So I'm just gonna change them up, change a lot, do it that way. Cause I need this tractor working so we can actually cart grain with it. Like it's not, it's just been a pain in the backside at the minute. So they have like drain off points like there that connected into the spool above. And then they have these little drain bits here as well. But on the new ones, they've totally done away with them. So um, yeah, they don't exist at all. So we'll just take them off. Um, we might have to just leave it open like that because I don't think these plastic guards will fit on. You need to buy new different plastic guards. Anyway, we'll come to that bridge when we come to it. So that's those off. I've given them a little clean up with the rag and we've got a number on there which I'm going to just remember for my own personal memories in case I need to order the block. 206030. Okie dokie. I found the fittings uh, that came in the lovely cramp box. We'll get these um, out there and I've got one that's an actual John Deere one as well. This is the cramp one. That's the John Deere one. Right. Not sat on a level surface. Uh, mm, would anyone suggest that they possibly might be absolutely the same part? I mean, this has got different ribs on it in different places. That one's got a different rib there, but I think, I think they are. I've got them all in. It was a bit of a nightmare to tighten up. I've had to do it with mole grips, because, not mole grips, Stilson's, because we can't get a 32 mil spanner that's that thin in there. Anyway, I think we've got them nipped enough to do what we need to do. Um, I've just got Noah coming. I've put the pipes in. That's the John Deere one. They're the cramp ones, all got the same branding on them and um, we're gonna pull the lever and see if we get any leaks I think we will on this one this spool but I think this one might just have been one of those so we might might be all right go on work it blue blue one it's all all right happy days um right do you want to just pull the green one while it's got nothing on it a little bit one way and a little bit other I can't see anything leaking at the minute we did have a leak from the top you see mega happy that we've got that sorted because that was like a pain it was making a tractor that's you know, all good, unusable, and I, I think sometimes when I, when, I, when you attack a problem, I've attacked that problem before at like eight, nine o'clock at night when you're tired, um, and having another go at it at a different time of day when I'm not quite as knackered as um, yeah, allowed me to get it sorted. Anyway, let's start feeding up now. Right, it's cattle feeding time now. So we'll keep dishing this stuff out. Noah's just got a mix going on the nine meter. So handy having two forklifts. I don't know what we do without. Now we've uh, now we've seen the light of having two. I'm about to feed these, but you can see the straws going in and it's close to the roof. That's how we want it. That is how we want it. Right, we're pulling everything away now. It's gonna be a bit of an early finish today. We uh, we get the wheat in. We're not gonna we're not gonna have much time, uh, much space for parking machines. Start locking them in the top shed or something. Um, I think we'll we'll probably still get them in. Yeah, maybe just leave mixer up in the top one and lock that away. But um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're uh, where we're gonna be leaving it tonight. I think oh, just got a phone call. Past five and we've finished. 
well, like, I could, there's other jobs that I could be doing, but I think I'm just going to go home. Ben's gone home. Noah's gone home. I know what my dad's doing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. We've got a lot of wind coming around. I'm trying to shelter myself away from it now. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone who watches the videos. It, um, it wouldn't be the same without you guys watching and commenting. And um, it really does, like, brighten up my day with them and enrich my life. The whole YouTube journey enriches my life and opens doors and opportunities. But, um, yeah, thank you very much, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!